in this video i am going to tell you how to enter the data from a questionnaire to the spss so guys uh, we have the a questionnaire as an example with us and uh, you can see that in our questionnaire there are two sections section a is about the background information and section b is about the statements related to the construct in research framework in section a we have two questions gender and age and in section b we have different constructs and we have four constructs and each construct is having four items or four statements with the options of sda da and a and s a they stand for strongly disagree disagree neutral agree and strongly agree so let's determine the codes for them first so to male we are assigning one for female we will assign uh, two let's assign here no problem uh, let's assign two here and uh, in the same way for the first of the option of age between 18 to 25 we will assign one for the second option i'm assigning for the second option i'm assigning here two then this one is the this one three and this one four and five and for the option above 45 I'll assign six here uh, for the strongly disagree to disagree so let me assign over here strongly disagree I'll assign one disagree I'll assign two neutral I'm assigning three for agree I'm assigning four and for strongly agree I'm assigning five so in this way we have already coded our questionnaire items now let's see how to tell SPSS that which value I have which value I am going to assign to which option because uh, normally we do the statistical analysis on SPSS and for that we need the numbers not the qualitative variables so we have to tell SPSS that one means what two means what like for example here in the question of gender we have two options so one when we enter one is mean male when we enter two is mean female so let's see how to uh, tell SPSS uh, for the coding so let's come to SPSS we have two different views this one is the data view where you will see the data and this one is the variable view for the coding purpose uh, variable view is uh, the relevant one so uh, let's go to the question and again see section a background information gender so the first item first question in our question is about the gender so uh, we are giving the name gender type always we have to give the numerical when we do the numerical analysis label we can assign gender to and uh, the values values here you have to define the values for each option say for example one for male and two for female as you know that it was our first question let's go to age and here also we can write age age and uh, we need to assign the values uh, we have 18 to 25 26 to 30 31 to 35 36 to 40 41 to 45 and above 45 the first one is 18 to 25 
so here we write 1 and then 18 to 25 and add and 2 26 to 30 and add and then in 3 31 to 35 add and then 4 36 to 40 and 5 41 to 45 and in 6 above 45 and we are done for this also then uh, if we go to the question here again we can see our section B in section B we have four variables and every variable is having four items so for PE we can give a short name performance expectancy a short name will be PE PE1 PE2 PE3 PE4 so let me write PE1 PE P E2 P E3 and P E4 for the four items of performance expectancy here if you want we can write the full question or we can write the performance expectancy 1 2 3 and 4 it's up to you now let's go to the value level we know that we have assigned 1 to strongly this agree then two two disagree then three two neutral then four two agree and then five two strongly agree and okay so uh, it's a shortcut over here just control c and control v and it's copied over here now we'll go to the next variable it is effort expectancy so e e e1 e e2 e e3 and e e4 in the same way price value PV and BI so PV1 PV2 PV3 PV4 and BI1 BI2 BI3 and BI4 and we just need to copy it control C select all and control V and best and done so in the same way you have any length of question here you can uh, tell the SPSS how to how you are going to code this data uh, let's go to the data view and see we, we can see here all the names of the variables all the items are shown over here now in the next step I am going to tell you that how to input the data from a field question here so that's all for this video please subscribe our channel and don't forget to like share and comment on our channel so see you in the next video